We're back with Kibbe TV, and today we'll be discussing Kibbe width, vertical, and what the color hazel actually means. But are you muted or bright? Just answer me that. Muted or bright? So let's take a second to honor our ethereal essences and honor the fairy that we're meant to be. Okay, I know, I know. I've been guilty of saying all of those things before and giving that exact advice. But how do you accumulate all of this style advice, understand all of these complex systems, and then actually put it into practice for your own personal style? So in my last video, for all you very patient viewers who watched the entire video, at the very end, I asked for you guys to give me your style parameters, your Kibbe ID, your seasonal color analysis, your essences, and your style adjectives, anything about your personal style maps that might help guide me, and we're going to create functional outfits from those elements. It's wonderful to see celeb examples and how they implement these style elements. However, they have stylists who force them and make them commit to creating their style brand. I encourage you to craft your own style as if it were your own personal brand. However, you probably don't have a personal stylist on hand making sure that you don't abandon it. Do it now. So I am so grateful for this community and all of the style answers I got about your style parameters. Now, obviously I couldn't fit them all in one video, but if we like the style of this video, I'm happy to do a part two. Let's wait and see. But if you like one, leave it in the comments below. So I tried to pick a wide variety of Kibbe IDs and essences. If you don't see your exact Kibbe ID and essence blend, you can still take a lot of inspiration and education around how we craft an outfit using all of these elements. And you may see some Kibbe ID representations that are very traditional. Kibbe IDs, even within a single ID, come in many shapes and sizes, so don't get too hung up on that. So my goal was to be more inclusive in this video. So even if you see your example in this video, there may be some details that I changed in order for everyone to be able to see themselves in this system. When it's showtime, kid. Meet Nicole. She's a soft gamine with the classic ingenue style essence. She wants to look sophisticated, refined, smart, and a little bit mysterious and magical. She's a true autumn. Let's build her an everyday outfit that's both casual and polished. So as we know, soft gamines need to accommodate petite and curve. So we're going to start off with these cropped blue jeans. Now this blue jean has a classic essence and the color palette also works for the true autumn. This blouse is a great addition to Nicole's outfit. Not only does it have the fitted collar and cuffs that the soft gamine needs, it also has the soft fabrics and the bow that gives an ingenue classic essence. Now let's add a jacket. This cropped classic Chanel style jacket is perfect for her. It accommodates petite, has a little bit of structure, and it is a nod to her refined style adjectives. Let's go with a simple gold flat for shoes. These earrings are a great choice. They have a slightly magical feel, but still feel classic enough for Nicole. And if we're looking for a little bit more of a magical touch, these rings are great. She could go with makeup like this, which has a soft ingenue vibe, and a hairstyle like this that is both soft enough for the ingenue, but still has a classic feel to it. Ultimately, this outfit is a polished casual outfit for all of Nicole's needs. Meet Christina. She's a Kibbe romantic and has a romantic dramatic essence blend. She wants to look sexy, strong, ambitious, but still a little bit soft. Think silent power. And her color palette is a deep autumn. She wants to keep style simple, but still stand out. Let's build her an outfit for going out. Now, let's start off with these pants. See how the silhouette of the pants are cut in a curved shape, which accommodates the romantic's curves? These pants are faux leather, so they are at the lighter spectrum of fabric weights for the leathers and Christina's dramatic essence meshes well with bold textures like this. Now, let's add a comfortable top that still fits her dramatic romantic essence blend. By having the ruching on the shoulders and the bust, it draws attention to those areas without being over the top sexy. It's also a comfortable stretch fabric. Next, let's add a trendy purse in a deep autumn shade and a pair of diamond studs, fitting the romantic dramatic essence without being high maintenance. A pair of patent leather boots are strong and sexy without being impossible to maneuver in. And let's finish off the look with voluminous curls and a high gloss lipstick that matches our burgundy theme. This look stands out without being super high maintenance or uncomfortable. It's sexy, powerful, and would work seamlessly for a dinner out or evening out with friends. Meet Caroline. She's a soft natural with a natural ethereal style essence. She's a deep autumn and wants to look effortless, chic, welcoming, but not too tough or overly romantic. She doesn't like jeans and has a tropical climate to combat and prefers a bit more modesty in her day-to-day -day looks. And she's a uni student. Let's build her a polished outfit she could wear to class or out with friends. 
So let's start with these shorts. They are in our color palette, somewhat modest. You could even go a little bit longer in the inseam depending on personal preference. And they have a natural but polished look to them. Now this blouse is a great example of ethereal essence while still fitting soft natural needs. The fabric is light and airy, pure fibers like silks and cottons work well in the heat, and the draping gathering offers some soft waist emphasis while still feeling polished and easygoing. A simple strap sandal is perfect with that easygoing look. Now we have a natural ethereal vibe, but accessories and details will really cement this together. This bag is perfect. The shape feels modern, but the texture gives it a more natural vibe, and it's large enough to carry books or notebooks. Let's add an ethereal touch with this hair clip. And you could do your hair like this. Natural curls, nothing too fussy. And if you feel you need a touch more ethereal in there, add a bit of inner corner white eyeshadow like this to add that magical element. I'm gonna jump in here and say that if you saw your parameters in the examples and you were like, Gabby, that is not an outfit I would ever wear, I encourage you to be more specific with your adjectives. So style adjectives are great, but they can mean a lot of different things to different people. For instance, nerdy chic could mean this, this, or this. This is why we do our personal style maps, because the adjectives are great. But once we see our visual representation here, it really starts to come together. So that's why the personal style maps are really important. They're the visual guide to the exact style we want. Meet Eva. She's a pure classic in Kibbe and has summer coloring. She opts for generally cool tone colors. She has a gamine ethereal essence with a bit of a cheeky streak. Her lifestyle needs are casual and chic. She just wants to be seen for her true self. Her personal style map includes some of these inspirations. She likes French chic and YSL rock elegance, but with a soft edge. And since she enjoys cooking for people, let's build her an outfit for when she throws a casual dinner party for friends. So let's start with her classic Kibbe needs and go from there. These jeans are a classic cut and won't disrupt her summer coloring. Now let's add the soft silk blouse, which both helps give an ethereal touch, but again won't throw off her beautiful balance. In order to incorporate a gamine touch or her cheeky streak, we are going to add those details further away from her face. The closer a detail is to your face, the more impact it will have, and for classics, the more it can overpower you. So choosing a funky gamine shoe, like these studded loafers, are perfect. They fit the elegant rock vibe. It's a classic silhouette, but it has a gamine flair. Now for hair, I'd go with the soft pulled back half up option, but a little less polished so that the ethereal vibe isn't drowned out. And we could even add a few of these screw and pearls in the back to add a bit more ethereal to the mix. Again, the detail isn't next to the face or taken in at the same time, so it won't feel too much. Next, a simple cool pink lip stain. And if necessary, a structured blazer for layer, a nod to that rock elegance. And if you wanted to add more gamine into this look, you could swap in some funkier ring stacks or a fun nail polish color. Meet Georgia. She's a dramatic classic with a romantic and natural essence and a soft summer color season. Her style goals are feminine, strong, and friendly. Let's build her an outfit for brunch with friends. So let's start with a simple straight leg jean in a cool blue wash without any distress marks. Now let's add this off the shoulder cool blue blouse. It has structure for her DC roots, but the off the shoulder and sleeve style has a touch of romantic essence. Now let's get a woven espadrille loafer in here for a bit of a natural touch, and a raffia handbag that has some structure to it, both natural and DC approved. Now for a little more strength to this look, let's add an angular pair of sunglasses. For hair, we want something polished, but with a touch more volume for those romantic vibes. In makeup, we could add a small liquid eyeliner, nothing too over the top, and a red nail polish to hammer home that romantic essence. She's ready for brunch. Meet Katrina. She's a kibby dramatic with a gamine natural essence and gravitates more towards traditionally flamboyant gamine or flamboyant natural styles. She's a bright spring and she wants to be perceived as artsy, dark bohemian, and an intellectual with a touch of whimsy. She's a doctoral student and interns with a therapist, so she needs to look put together during the day. Let's build her a casual workday look. So for her dramatic Kibbe ID, we want to keep the vertical intact and we want the clothes to be narrow and have some structure to them. These blue trousers would work well for this. Now she has a gamine essence, so let's add a printed blouse here. This blouse is structured and narrow and has a touch of blue, so it technically carries down the vertical a little bit. It's not the most obvious vertical, but it's still there and it harkens back to her gamine essence. So far, the outfit is business casual, but assuming her work would allow a little bit of clothing expression, let's move on. I think these platform shoes would be a great choice. The texture gives a subtle nod to the dark bohemian. They have a gamine flair, but they also help accentuate the vertical line because they are high and they are also blue. 
Now, if you wear glasses, a nice black structured pair would give you that intellectual vibe and still honor the sharpness in your face. This black ring is a subtle nod to the dark bohemian. Although dark bohemian can have a variety of interpretations, so it's important to note what elements you prefer on your own personal style board. A natural linen tote to carry your work materials adds a touch of natural essence into the mix. Now for hair, I do a loose low bun. This look is polished enough for work, sleek enough for your dramatic ID with a touch of natural softness. And if you want, you could add this dark vintage hairpin for an artsy twist. For makeup, I do a good brow and a bit of mascara. It'll keep the look from being too loud for work. So here's a good time to jump in and say that if you have a broad personal style map or you have a diverse amount of style adjectives, you should be referring back to your outfit photo album. Hopefully you've been collecting all those data points because all of those daily outfit photos can help you start to see how much of that style influence do you actually use on an everyday basis? What percentage of it does it make up your outfit every day? You may have ethereal on your personal style board. However, you find that you really only use it 10% in daily outfits, more for little details in your hair or jewelry here and there. Or you may find that one section of your board is really only used for going out looks. That's totally okay and it's good data to have. Just like your personality is complex, your style is also going to be complex. And it's okay to compartmentalize parts of your board or your style influences. Meet Sarah. She's a soft classic and a deep winter. Her personal style adjectives are polished, comfortable, and soft. And her style inspirations include Parisian chic, glam, Rami and Michelle, and the umbrellas of Cherbourg. She works in marketing and PR, and her office has a relaxed, slightly preppy vibe. Let's build her an outfit for the office. So let's start with a super cute pair of trousers that are cool toned and work appropriate. Now let's add a slightly preppy soft blouse that works for the soft classic. Polished yet comfortable. I'd tuck it in for slight waist emphasis. Now let's add a little bit of comfortable glamour with these silver pointed flats. And maybe, if she needs it, a soft trench coat to include her Umbrellas of Cherbourg influence. Now, Rami and Michelle were also inspiration, so let's add a touch of 90s influence with this shoulder handbag and these 90s sunglasses. For hair, let's reference Umbrellas of Cherbourg again and do a soft half up, half down with a hair bow. It's preppy, but glamorous. And for one last Rami and Michelle influence, a high gloss pink lip. Meet Lisa. She's a soft gamine with a natural ethereal essence and a warm autumn color palette. She wants super relaxed, but at the same time for her creative artsy side to come through. Comfort is a wardrobe non-negotiable for her, and she likes boho oversized looks and the 90s style. She works from home. Let's build her a work from home outfit. So she's a soft gamine, so she has to accommodate smaller bones, but she likes the oversized look. So let's try to find a middle ground. I like this cropped cardigan. It has a natural feel. It's a little looser, but still has fitted ribbing at the sleeves and waist. And it has a slightly 90s feel, and probably appropriate enough for any Zoom meetings, depending on her job. Now let's add these Athleta Brooklyn pants. They are cropped, somewhat form-fitting, and cut with trouser details, but basically elevated sweatpants. Professional enough and totally comfortable. Now this outfit is monochrome and a total 90s vibe. Soft gamines typically do horizontal breaks within their outfits, so everyone will personally have to find which rules they can bend or break when melding all these elements together. Now, if she has to run out for a coffee or lunch, let's give her some easy slides. A 90s classic shoe shape with the natural texture for her essence. The entire color palette has a lighter color feel to it, which is important for ethereal essences. Now, let's add these layered necklaces. They have both a natural and ethereal vibe, won't disrupt the comfort of the look, and make it look more put together. And if you want even more ethereal, this cool ear cuff is a great addition as well. Now, a cool artsy tote in case she needs to leave the house, natural easy hair, and a natural brow. If she really wants to lean into the ethereal or have more makeup to her look, she could try a popular blush nose highlight look that is currently trending and has major ethereal vibes. Meet Lana. She's a theatrical romantic with a romantic, natural, classic essence blend. Her style board looks like this. Earthy, light, minimal, romantic, serene, warm, and cozy. She's a deep autumn and a grad student and needs to have comfortable outfits in her personal style or else she'll likely abandon it. Let's build her an easy outfit for the day. Let's start with jeans, an easy staple. These have stretch in them so they, and they accommodate curve and are cropped. So they work for comfort and theatrical romantics. Let's add this soft light sweater. It also accommodates curve because of the soft material and drape without being revealing. And it works with her classic and romantic essence. Let's add a minimalist flat, easy to throw on and walk in. 
and a minimalist pair of stud earrings that keep with those light vibes. Add in a slightly structured canvas tote that works with both the natural and classic essences. For hair, let's do the soft thrown up button. It's natural and can be clipped using a tortoise shell hair clip. Now, if she wants to lean more into the romantic essence, she could also add a subtle liquid eyeliner and a dark red nail color. Meet Emily. She's a flamboyant gamine with a dramatic romantic gamine essence. Her personal style goals are to be sexy, unique, playful, silly, and mystical. And she's a warm spring. Her wardrobe non-negotiables is that she needs clothing to move with her. Not sure specifically what she means by this, but I took it to mean fabric that isn't too constricting and moves gently. She admires the pinup Dita Von Tees look, but doesn't know if she wants to commit to the effort and also likes the Stevie Nicks hippie vibe. Let's build her a weekend outfit. Let's start with a short, soft bell sleeve dress. While traditionally it's a little soft for the flamboyant gamine, Emily said she needs clothing to move with her, and this gives a great Stevie Nicks vibe. Plus, the print is both gamine and a bit dramatic for her essence blend. Let's add these funky pink slides to her look. They are playful and not impossible to walk in, and they fit her palette. These cherry earrings are a bit romantic and gamine and add a playful touch to the look. Next, a trendy bright bag that fits her dramatic essence, and some cat eye sunglasses for romantic, slightly pinup touch. Add in some liquid eyeliner and a bright pink lipstick in its playful, sexy, unique weekend outfit. Meet Elena. She's a Kibbe soft classic and is plus size. Her essence blend is mostly ingenue with a bit of natural. Her color palette is soft autumn, and her style adjectives are casual, confident, polished, with a touch of girly femininity. She works in a casual work environment and can pretty much wear what she wants. Let's build her an outfit for work. Let's start off with this skirt. It has a slightly natural vibe to it, but with a more ingenue print, and it works with the soft classic in silhouette. Let's add a soft polished tee to the mix and tuck it in for a more put together look and some light waist emphasis. Next, a pair of simple girly flats in a soft autumn color, and a girly lacy bag that has a strong ingenue essence. For hair, let's pull it into a soft side ponytail, relaxed enough for her natural essence and not too messy for a soft classic. And we can use a girly clip like this to add a bit more ingenue into her look. Finally, some simple pearl earrings for a polished vibe and a soft autumn peach lipstick to tie everything together. Meet Mary. She's a soft dramatic with a dominant dramatic essence and maybe a small touch of natural or romantic in there. She's a deep autumn. She wants to appear powerful, fun, and mysterious. Her personal style map includes visuals like Italian style, Y2K, and 1940s femme fatale. However, she works in the forest and requires a mostly active wear look. Let's build her an outfit for work and an outfit for going out on the weekends and see how to integrate her style into both of them. Full disclosure, I know little about the exact specifications of a forestry major, so if Don't. something I pick for the outfit doesn't work, sorry, but the guidelines were mostly active wear. So for a workday outfit, let's start with these leggings. They are dark enough that dirt won't be totally obvious, work with her job and palette, and have a subtle animal print that gives the femme fatale or Italian style vibes. Now let's add a fitted athletic top and a jacket. This jacket has a drawstring waist, so it can somewhat accommodate her curves. And these two colors, the pants and top, are close enough in depth that it still maintains vertical. Next, let's add a hiking boot with a little bit of a dramatic flair. And depending on how comfortable her workplace is with creative expression, she could add a Y2K pair of sunglasses and a slicked ponytail to really lean into that dramatic essence. Now for a weekend night out, date night, or party, let's get a femme fatale dress going. This fabric would drape over her curves nicely and is long enough to maintain vertical. Let's pair that with a classic Italian stiletto in patent leather for a dramatic romantic vibe. Add in a Y2K rhinestone style bag, femme fatale hair, and if you want to be even extra, which her dramatic essence might appreciate, let's add in a rhinestone in your eye makeup. Common thread to totally different outfits. Okay, so that was a lot to consider. And as you can see, you don't need the answers to every single one of these style systems to start your personal style journey. Start with the knowledge that you do have, start applying it, take those daily outfit photos, and then review. This is also where I'm going to caution you to slow your role on purchases. As you explore these systems, it will take some experimentation to see what you really like. And it would be a shame if you went out and bought a whole new wardrobe around your Kibbe ID, only to find out that your essence contradicts it, or only to find out that you bought all cool toned colors and you're a deep bottom. The journey to an authentic and loved personal style is not something that happens overnight. It will take time, experimentation, and an evolution of self for you to find your own authentic personal style. I hope this video has been super helpful. Until next time.
wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Okay, multiple choice time. This is a community. What video do you want to see next?